Just a little tad late, but uh, welcome. And I'd like to call the meeting of the uh, Naugat City Council to order for this Tuesday, April 9th, 2013 meeting. And we'll nice. start out as usual with uh, roll call. Honorable Mayor Fouch. Present. Honorable Vice Mayor Adams. Present. Honorable Councilman Dyer. Present. Honorable Councilwoman Norris. Present. Honorable Councilwoman Green. Present. Thank you. And, and if you notice to my right here, we've got a, a new fellow on board here. It's uh, Keith Morrison. He's our new city administrator. But we're going to carry on with the tradition of asking Chief Elders to lead us with our invocation. Pledge of allegiance. Oh, Lord, our Heavenly Father, we are thankful for this day, Lord. We ask you to continue to bless this city and this town and keep our citizens safe. And Lord, we ask you to guide, direct this governing body to make the most important decisions that they have to make. We ask all this in your name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Item number four, consider the agenda and minutes. So consider the agenda as presented. And I think we've had a request to uh, modify the agenda We've, uh, item, let me find it right here. Item number one under new business, consider appointment to, to uh, appoint a member of the All Good Beer Board. We also have a vacancy on the All Good uh, Board of Zoning Appeals. So we're gonna amend the agenda to appoint that as well under item number one, new business. There any, any, any other, anybody okay otherwise? So I'll uh, consider a motion to approve the agenda as presented. Motion. As amended. Motion and a second. Second. Motion, second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Number two, consider approval of the minutes. The council meeting held on March 12, 2013. I'll make a motion. Motion. Second. Motion and second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. New business, consider approval to appoint a member to the uh, All Good Beer Board to replace Keith Morrison, who's vacating. Uh, and we've had a volunteer to be on the All Good Beer Board, and I'd like to place in a nomination, Tracy Duncan. Uh, Tracy is uh, the Director of Alumni Relations at Tennessee Tech, and I think she'll serve us well. So, I'll make a motion. I'll second. Motion made and second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? And then our uh, Nominee to the All Good uh, Board of Zoning Appeals. I'd like to uh, nominate Evelyn Glover. I'll second that. Evelyn Glover. All in favor of Evelyn Glover? Aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries. Congratulations. Consider approval of the proposed elevator maintenance contract with the Nashville Machine Elevator Company. Mr. Morrison, you'd like to speak to that? I've contacted Nashville a Machine Elevator. They are going to reword the contract and then get back to us with it. Uh, once she gets that reworded and faxed to us, I'll get it to you all to look over and uh, we'll make whatever additional changes we need to it and uh, we'll put it on the next month's agenda. The contract had some language in it that we weren't quite, quite happy with. It's a little open-ended about the uh, annual increase, so we've asked them to do it. So I'll move we table this. Second that. Motion and second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion to table carries. Number three, consider approval of just the current city administrator's salary. Uh, back to where he's in one position as the police chief, uh, chief of police. And in keeping, uh, keeping with our agreements and with our other department managers, would make the salary based on an hourly rate of twenty-seven dollars an hour. He's a non-exempt employee, so that salary comes to one fifty-six one sixty annually. So I'll consider a motion. I'll make a motion. Seconded. Motion and second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. Item four: Consider approval to a resolution two seven nine dash one thirteen. I'm sorry, two seven nine dash thirteen regarding the policies and procedures for the rehabilitation program for the community uh, city of all good this rehabilitation community development block grant we've received Would you like to speak to that yes this resolution is basically just to pass the policies and procedures that uh, the department of economic and community development 
have submitted in order to, for us to go forward with the grant that we have received to work on those homes that are in the area of Macaulay and a few other streets over there. As soon as they receive this past resolution, then they will begin uh, moving forward on their construction. So this is the 500,000 CDBG yes. that we received. It is. So this is just housekeeping measures saying we'll follow their policies. I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion. Second. A motion second. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, opposed? Motion carries. Next item, consider approval to award the bid uh, for the purchase and installation of window shades in the new city hall. I understand we only had one, we had three people. We did. That we had three, three companies that interested. picked up bid packets mm -hmm. and only one that returned them and this is the folks that worked with AEI on several other projects. Correct. And uh, apparent low bidder considering they're the only yes. bidders. These blinds can be seen in several of the restaurants throughout the Cookville area. The solar shades, that's what they are. I'll make a motion. I'll second. Uh, all right, that amount on that bid is uh, 5500 plus the 105 for the other window. So that amount's 5660 including insulation labor. Yes. So motion and second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Consider approval to award the bid uh, for the purchase and installation of security system and uh, security access at the City Hall. Keith, you have? Talked to both companies on the phone today. Uh, both bids are comparable. The products are pretty much the same. Protects and security. Uh, one of the questions last night was uh, about a backup battery system. Uh, protection security did assure me that uh, that was included in that price of 86.92, uh, and that that backup battery would run for four to six hours. And walked the building today and looked at all the doors, and everything's included in the bids, and so they're they're in very close comparison uh, as far as what's being offered. The only difference is two different companies and a different name on the actual product, but they're both comparable bids, and I did not see any difference that would make one stand out versus the other. So. So the apparent low bidder is Protection Security Solutions in the amount of 86.92, and that includes a one-year monitoring agreement. That's, that's one-year agreement. Yes. Yep. I'm making a motion. So second. motion and second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. And now we're ready for the city administrator's report. Day two, you got a report? Day two. Uh, all budgets are in uh, under where they're supposed to be, so everything's looking good. Uh, April 10th, tomorrow, the furniture will be in for the new building, so we'll be over here bringing in new furniture. Uh, April 26th looks to be our move-in date and try to get everything transferred over. Uh, May 25th, we'll have an open house from four, 1 to 4, where everybody can come and walk through the building and take a look around. Uh, with a dedication on June 15th, uh, We'll have one to four open house, and then at four o'clock we'll dedicate the building and seal it up. And any department heads have anything? And one of the open houses coincides with the with the reunion. Reunion, the, yes. The all good school reunion. So, um, is that it? That's it. All right. I'd like to make an announcement here that uh, Angie Bilbridge handed me the All Good Fire Explorers, which is a, an explorer group that's associated with Boy Scouts of America. Um, here have, is having a benefit at the Augusta Methodist Church Family Life Center for five dollars. It's a breakfast, so I guess you guys are cooking. Yes. And anybody else that wants to? And anybody else that wants to? So we're taking volunteers and we're taking <laughs> money, and we're going to eat. So how can you beat that? Also, I'd like to give a nod to, to Fire Chief Bilber. You, you just passed right over your ISO thing. So you want to go ahead and talk about that? Uh, When I came as fire chief, uh, something that the city council asked uh, was that we work on the ISO. Uh, we had a class seven at that time. I'm tell them, explain what that is there. Okay, what an ISO is, it is how the insurance companies rate our fire protection, it rates our water system, and it rates our communications. It is a community evaluation. It's not just what the fire department does. Uh, because I was chief, it doesn't mean that, that it got done because I was chief. I've got a lot of folks that played a very big part of this. Uh, Deputy Chief is sitting back there, Lloyd Norris, who has been uh, at the helm of the fire department for many, many years. Uh, 
We've got a deputy uh, battalion chief here with me, uh, Victor, uh, and he has to do with all the water. He was very uh, instrumental in getting the water information that we needed. Uh, also, uh, some thanks goes out to the previous administrations of the city uh, for doing water lines and other preparation that got us to this point. Um, it was just a point that we got everything together. Uh, as far as ISO or public protection uh, classification, as it's sometime also noted, it's very important when people start looking at when they've got businesses and they want to come into this town. If they look at what our classification is and what another classification of another city is, if we've got a lower one, they're going to save money uh, on their insurance premiums and coming in. So that that. Uh, above all, that increases their profits when they come in here. Uh, not only that, as homeowners, if you've got property, uh, this classification, it's not updated until July 1, just when it takes effect, 2013. Um, and all the information is in. It's being sent out right now to all the insurance companies. Uh, at a later date, we will be able to have uh, what that will save you uh, for certain insurance companies. Each insurance company is going to rate those things differently. Uh, for instance, um, uh, Farm, Bureau, Farm Bureau may rate it, uh, you may save $100, uh, and, and some other, like Provident, may, you may save 200 It all depends on how they rate it, and that's what that, this is here, is our classification. Our classification came, uh, when we came up, it was a 7. Uh, we, we got, our score was 56.21. Um, that ranked us a level 5. With uh, if we could have dropped another 3.79 points, we would have been with a four. Uh, I don't know of any other volunteer fire department that does not have a paid staff that has a five. Now I'm sure there's some of them out there, but uh, we one of the things that helped us was that we we found a an area of ISO and they won't tell you exactly what you need to do because they work for the insurance companies. They don't work for us. So you have to research and find out. And what we found out was if we had employees, we've got four with Victor's crew that Monday through Friday, that they, they throw their shovels down and they come to the uh, uh, fires that we have, that's like having two paid people at that department or two on-call people. That's better than having four volunteers. So we got the credit in ISO on paper as if we had two paid people and it didn't cost the city anything. So it's just those kinds of things that you have to look for and try to find to get your edge in there. Uh, and we also have an opportunity to contact them to find out what we can do to drop it even more. Uh, and, and we'll be letting you know with that, along with what some of the insurance companies are saying. Now, as far as making statements here tonight or any time, we're not going to say that if you've got uh, State Farm Insurance, that you're going, your insurance premium is going to drop $100. We're not saying that. That's between you and your agent. But we'll give you just basic information on that. Okay? So I think Chief Bilber and his staff uh, and all the folks that are involved in the process, and it's a pretty wide-reaching process, uh, are to be commended here. And I, I think uh, the re recruiting and retaining and, and re-re-enlisting some of those folks over there at the at the public works department to get them back on board and buy in uh, the morale of the fire department is just probably as good as it's ever been maybe better uh, the professionalism is great and uh, this this we ought to be proud of this and it's 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 been it's a good thing so under under these guys leadership doing a good thing and this this will save the city money and it ought to offer you some reassurance that, that we're getting the things done so so thank you, Chief. Thanks. Uh, item number eight, hearing of the citizens or delegations. If anybody would like to step up to the podium and address the council, they're welcome to. I would ask you to limit that to three-minute comments. Uh, anybody like to speak? And please use the microphone. And it, you have to hold it a little closer than, than you think, but we're recording, so. Is this okay? Sounds good to me. I'm Jody McCartney. I live at 107 Cedar Street here in All Good. Have lived here 47 years uh, in the same neighborhood, actually, all those years. I'm kind of representing several of the neighbors tonight. Uh, we're, in, we're very uh, concerned about the deterioration of our neighborhood. Uh, we have uh, property in very, very close by that has garbage, trash, and uh, we have buildings falling down, and uh, we have brush piles. We have uh, all kinds of, uh, of hazards. 
Uh, we, we have a house that is rotting down there on, on High Street uh, that I personally feel is uh, a nuisance item in respect to the attraction for children to want to go in there and explore, which they could readily do, and it is actually falling down. I think it's a hazard. Uh, we have the burned house on Cedar and High Street. I'm sorry, on Cedar and 2nd Avenue. And uh, we were understood that there would be a controlled burn of that house uh, in January. It's now April. Uh, we'd like to an answer to that question. Can someone comment on that? Yeah. Okay. We have that scheduled, and what we have to do is we have to go to the EPA, and they set our dates to do that. We had two dates that were set up in March. The first date, we had multiple fire department members that had the flu. The second date that it was set up, uh, Tom Brown, who is the assistant chief from the fire department in Putnam County, his wife passed away, and they were very good friends of ours, and we worked together, and out of respect for them, we did not do that. It is set to be scheduled to burn on April the 20th. Okay, uh, that, that answers that question, and we're, we're looking forward to that. We also feel that house is a danger to children, and P, you know, kids will explore. Sure. Um, our health concerns are mosquitoes, rats, snakes, due to old tires, a small swimming pool, uh, containers, brush piles, and debris that are within a few feet of my back door and our other neighbors. I also represent Perrin United Methodist Church Parsonage. I'm a member of that church, and that is directly behind them, the Tate House, and we understood uh, that it has been foreclosed on, but there again uh, is spring. We've, we've got health hazards there. We're very concerned about them. Now, we would like to know who a public health officer is or who we can consult about the health hazards of that location. Chief Jim Elder is in, in charge of codes enforcement and I think you're, we've made some changes in that department. I think you'll see some changes coming your way, but the uh, the foreclosed properties are, are a difficult, difficult thing for us to do. There's, there's, there's a long, long, long drug out process on that. I understand that. It, can the city come in and clean it up and build them for it? Build I, someone. I, I for do it. not think we have an ordinance in place to do that. Is that correct? Yeah. We don't have. No, ma'am. Never could, has been one. Could I suggest the council act on that, please? We'll, uh, we'll take it in consideration. When we built our new home back there, we were given a list of things that cannot can, cannot be done in all good. It's a lengthy list, and it it mentions all these things, and we had to be made aware of it as a property owner, which was six years ago, at when we sold our other house and, and put a new home there. We were, we were concerned about our property values and for those of our neighbors because we have, we have many empty houses around there and with the conditions, we just feel like it's a detriment to, uh, to all of us. Uh, we're getting to be known as the slums of all good. I've heard that referred to, honestly have. Well, and uh, I, I feel like that that uh, is appropriate right now. I agree 100% with what you're saying. I think if you give us just a few more months, you'll see some changes. So. Okay, we're real. We're so. very happy about that. Uh, one more thing I want to mention, and it doesn't have to do with this. It has to do with the recycling center here in that's, all that's good. That also was addressed and as recently as last night. So. Is that addressed? Yeah, okay, we're, because we're aware that's a problem too. So I was just wondering if there could sure. be signs or something put up because sure. I know you have a household garbage sure. uh, we're, we're, problem there. And we're I'm, working on that too. So. Maybe could find them or do something for yeah, that about that because yeah. we do want to recycle. Sure, absolutely. And I, that's all I have to Thank say. Thank you so from, much from our neighbors, representing our neighbors. Thank you. Um, anybody else like to address council? I'm Douglas Maxwell. I live over on 201 Lane. Um, what I would like to, hopefully the city council can address this. Um, I've noticed that uh, whenever I'm out walking, you know, on Lane Avenue, there's a stretch of Lane Avenue from Riley's Path back up to where my apartment is. It seems to be a little too narrow for cars. Sometimes they tend to stop so they can pass each other. Last summer, I saw a car go down into the ditch just to make a pass. And I'm thinking that stretch is just too narrow. It needs to be widened so that cars can pass uh, safer without having to 
pull off to the shoulder or even go into the ditch. Also, we need uh, sidewalks over on Lane, Warren, Riley's Path, and Mill Road to make walking for us pedestrians safer. Um, when you come off of Warren Avenue heading up toward Allgood Manor, in that direct Allgood Manor direction, there's a curve there. Cars come flying real fast in this direction. You don't know how many times I'm sitting there thinking, okay, please don't hit me, please slow down. I mean, I'm under my breath thinking, oh God, I'm gonna get hit because these people are just flying too fast. You know, that, um, that's the reason why a few, uh, a few years back, uh, during a previous administration, I came up here and said something about a sidewalk on Main, at, on Main Street, you know, from to Walmart, because it was just, cars were flying over that hill in front of Sonic, and it just scared me to death. And, you know, and that sidewalk on Main Street is something else I want to mention. You know, I, I, I think it was a good idea to put it there, but I think it should have come on down and co connected with the sidewalk right up here in front of Trinity Assembly, because it, that little stretch of road where there is no sidewalk, is un, it's unsafe for us pedestrians. There's a, there's a man in this, in this town, uses one of those hover around looking carts. I've seen him out there on the road. I'm wondering, my goodness, how does he do this without getting hit, you know? So we need some sidewalks. I understand that uh, on the one hand, sidewalks are seen as a, as a ornamentation, a beauty thing. For me, it's an issue of safety because it keeps me, a pedestrian, out of the road so that I don't have to become a speed bump or, or a grease spot in the road. So. So that's just what I wanted to mention to the city council. Okay, and and you know, just recently we've approved a sidewalk repair and replacement plan, to a, a citywide evaluation, and so that one's in the works too. Hard to do it all at the same time, but okay, we're working on it. I understand. It. Anybody else like to address council? There was no grievance process. But in your city code, it says the citizens do have a right to have a grievance. It's, and it's in the meeting. So I just wanted to make that point tonight that I've looked that up. It was on your website. It's on your website. So we do have a right for a grievance. And there was a gentleman, and his name is Johnny Judd. And he asked me to bring this letter that was given to him by the city of All Good about his water meter <clears throat> and ask you, this is, he asked me to bring this to you, who's responsible for the water meters? The city of All Good Victor Jones, or the, or the Jones, customer? Right? The customer? Responsible for the water meter. Re this was sent to him. It, never, it wasn't I'm not signed. Sure your question. What's your question? Who's responsible for it? Is what he wants to know. Who's responsible for the water meters? If you'll read the letter, <coughs> it's asking him to clean his water meter out. <coughs> Excuse me. Can I speak on that? Yeah, please. Uh, I, was, I was approached the other day about that, and to be honest with you, that was the first time I'd even heard about that letter even going out. Uh, and it was about uh, the, the city sent him a letter that said that they, the city was saying, you know, you need to clean your water meter box out. I didn't know nothing about it. I didn't request it. Uh, and we've never, in, in many years that I've been here, had sent a letter out saying that they had supposed to give us up to the property owners. Uh, the, what we do, if it has a problem, the meter reader can't read the meter. The meter reader will make a note of it, and then we'll make sure make a work order on it, and then we should go out there and, and probably clean it out. I, but when I, the gen, uh, lady come up and asked me about this, I said, I did not know there was a letter went out. That's the first I heard about it. 
and uh, that uh, I would talk to our meter reader, and she would get up there or whoever would go out there and clean that up for them if that was not for them. Somebody from your city. <coughs> well, we'll, get, we'll figure it out. It's the first yeah. I've seen it. But uh, there apparently, are well, I mean, clearly you know, this was sent out in error, so we'll we'll figure out the bottom of it. We won't be doing this some, again. So. Uh, I'll just mention this. Someone told me that they came to the city, and this is a new city hall, new day, nice city hall. They came to the city to pay their taxes. And it was like, okay, I'll take your tax money. Hurry up and give it to me. Blah. You know, it's grudgingly, I gotta take your tax money. Then they left there, and they went down to Freddie Nelson's office to pay their taxes. Hello, come on in. Oh, you come down here, you won't have to stand in line. You can get right on in. Pat them on the back, nice to them as they could be. But it's not that way in the city hall, dog good. You know, we need to have a little better. Uh, <laughs> you don't think it's that way? Ma'am, I just did not agree that the city of Alga is providing unsatisfactory customer service to the citizens of Alga. And, and bringing a, an allegation of I heard the other day doesn't help us get there. If there's a specific instance, just like this, we're going to fix this. But I can't fix it. I heard the other day somebody was rude to me. But I will do my dead level best to reinforce that customer service is what we're all about. Okay. That's what we are here for. Okay. And a lady went, came to me yesterday, and she said she went on Thursday to have her brother's water turned off. This is a paper that we have to have. I have to sign it one, two, three, four, five times and give my social security number in order for someone to have their water turned on. She had this man's power of attorney. She could go and have his check. She brought his checking account uh, to me. She went to the uh, uh, pharmacy and brought all his pharmacy papers to me. But because she did not have his driver's license, she had to go back to Livingston and come the next day to have his water turned on. Is that customer service? Ma'am, I can't make apologies. There's a process, and we must follow the process. And apparently the girls were doing exactly what we've asked them to do. You have a real strict policy. Well, I'm... It's not customer friendly. That's just what I'm saying. It's not customer friendly. It's okay. not customer friendly. All right. We'll try to do better. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else like to address the council? Any of the council members like to like to speak? And and I, I do believe grievance or comment or whatever you want to call. You know, we've had three folks here that have had complaints they brought before the city tonight with a microphone, and we're trying to address them. So uh, you know, I do not believe that you guys have to every meeting be adversarial with us because we're not your adversaries. We're here to serve. And, and no, what I said was we were not going to make this a question and answer session. I said you are not going to save up questions for 30 days and come hit me with them all at once. I'm not going to do it. And that's what I said. And so, well, okay. So, so you're, okay. Trying my dead level best serve this community and I think we're doing a pretty good job. I think we're doing a pretty good job. And and, and every meeting you, you guys goal is to bust the teeth and, and uh, if you if you hold our hands and work with us, I'll try to work with you. But if you want to fight every meeting, this is going to be miserable for all of us. And you're discouraging good qualified candidates from sitting in these chairs. Well, so so please, I'm begging you. Get on our side and be our friends and help us work together as a community. We are not your enemy. I promise. I promise I am not your enemy. It, did, it didn't have to go that way, but every it, every I, I disagree, ma'am. I disagree. One of your group has had that microphone every council meeting for six months. And accusing my police department, our police department, of being racial, accusing Jim Eldridge of being ignorant and uneducated and disqualified for his job, accusing us of being dishonest, accusing our folks who are doing their dead level best every day of providing poor customer service as a general rule, it's just not fair. It's just not fair. 
I am not your enemy. Nobody sitting on this board is your enemy. And we will be glad to work with you, but you need to take a different approach. Work with us, not against us. I just brought you the problem people have. So. My name is Rita Sardo, and I want to give my comment about when I pay my water bill each month. The girls are very friendly to me. I don't have a problem with the city as these other people are having. And if they have a problem, they need to bring it to the attention, like you said. But then there are things, if somebody else is trying to get somebody else's water turned on, they need to try to have something in writing that's notarized for that person to sign up. Nobody's going to give their Social Security number out to everybody because that's a private thing that in the newspapers you see people stealing identity theft. So therefore, they have the rules to go by, you folks do. And I've never had a problem with the city of all good. You know, I've not got a perfect record myself, but if I get in trouble, yeah, I'm going to pay for it, you know. But I try to be kind and considerate to other people. When you work with the public, and I have worked with the public for a long time at the All Good Shelfer and the McGugans, everybody was my friend, I think. I treated them kind and considerate, and they come back. They wanted to know where the station went because they would like to trade with the McGugans. And most of these people in All Good are all friendly, kind, considerate people. I don't know what else to say, but everybody has issues. They need to come to the meeting theirself, like you said, Mayor. Absolutely. Excuse Thank you for your support. Thank you. Uh, anybody else have any comments? Council? For the most part, I think that you're doing an outstanding job. I didn't. I, I hope I didn't sound like not, I was busting your chops. Not I was just. All, it's not, just that no. you're doing a. You, you got, you've got so much on your plate that you're doing. Sometimes things can get overlooked, you know. And I'm yeah, just. No, you know, I, I'm talking so, about an express but, group of individuals, right, not you. Right. Thank <laughs> so, you for bringing that to us. But you are doing an outstanding job, and I do appreciate uh, the fire department, the police department, the job y'all been doing. It's been outstanding, you know. And so I just want you to know you have my uh, uh, support Thank you. and my confidence. Any other comments? Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 We stand adjourned.